I'm Tom Lutz, I'm a Swiss theatre director and I'm working in Entechent on a show titled Théâtre Immobile Maison Metrelink. I'm reading a lot of texts from the f- famous or rather unknown poet from Ghent, uh, Maurice Metrelink, who developed a theory about how theatre should be in order to express the greatest emotions and the deepest truth. And his theory was that uh, in order to express these things, theater should be absolutely still. So the greatest drama should not be expressed in loud monologues and expressive acting, but rather in stillness and in silence and in pauses. That was his uh, theory for the Théâtre Immobile. He says, as soon as an actor goes on stage and pretends to be Hamlet, this kills the Hamlet that you had in your imagination when you read the text. So in a way, he says, uh, people should be forbidden (laughs) on stage, which is, it's like somebody says, clouds should be forbidden in the sky. It's an impossible claim, and I'm very curious to see what it could mean. So we know that um, it's going to be about standstill, about things that maybe don't move as quickly as we are used to, but maybe slower. A glacier moves too. We know that it's going to be set in Maison Metrelink, but I don't know yet if this is going to be the house of the poet. His work seems to me like a house itself with full of doors that lead nowhere or stairs that go up in indefinitely, strange paintings on the wall. Also, um, Metrelink wrote about what the theater is, which is a palace of dreams. the question that the human person is not necessarily at the center of attention, I find very inspiring and I find a strange relation to what Monsieur Matrelink is proposing. In my theater work, I, for example, love it when sound is acting and not necessarily a story is told through words and action, but through sound. I cannot really tell why I like to work with music. I find it the best material to ex- to explore and express um, themes that interest me. When you enter certain areas, when you're at the lack of words, um, music is often there to help. Well, the two productions of mine that have been showed in Belgium were When I Die, which was a true story about a English widow uh, who's in contact with the spirits of deceased composers. She receives visits from the ghosts of Bach and Brahms and Mozart, Rachmaninoff and Schubert and John Lennon. And uh, they compose music to her that they could not finish during their lifetime. I was immediately, of course, fascinated because it combines my two favorite things, which is mysteries and music. And the second show that was on in Belgium was a most more recent show called Girl from the Fog Machine Factory. I have always been very interested in the technical aspect of theater making, the lights, the sound, the, all the materials, the fog machines as um, kind of the ultimate poetical thing because it's a machine that creates nothing but creates a big poetic effect.
I just like unexpected things. I like, I find the ability of theater to change your perspective on the world for a short time or a longer time. I find this consolating. It can be a source of comfort. I'm from Switzerland and Belgium always seemed to be like some sort of theater paradise. Whatever, uh, we, whenever we got the chance to see a, a troupe or a performance or a show that came from Belgium, it was always great and unexpected and wild and, uh, uh, and, and, and for our uh, uh, Swiss minds, always mind-blowing. So when Milo asked me to, uh, 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 to come to do a show in this theater paradise, I of course said yes. Um, I don't want to die in Switzerland. It's also important to travel. <laughs>